welcome back to another video on the Titan. We're doing an oil change. Whoopee! So, oil change. Pretty simple. Oil fill right here. Oil dipstick right there. Everything else under the vehicle. To get to the oil filter, you have these four bolts right here. And then you have a couple more under here. You have one there. And I believe that's one, two, four. If you go further back right here, you have your drain bolt. And don't get it confused with this bolt right here. That's your front diff bolt. Don't touch that bolt right there. Look at the engine. You have your oil pan. Follow the oil pan back. You will see your drain bolt. So, how are we going to do this? We're not going to start off with removing the splash guard. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start draining the oil, and then while the oil's draining, we're going to do this. Okay, we are under the truck. We're going to be using a 13 millimeter socket. Let's get this thing extended out. Yeah, hey buddy. 13 millimeter going on. Can I do this? Yes, sir. Let's move over out of the wing. The bucket situated right under the drain. Gotta try to do this quick and hopefully, hopefully it does not hit the splash guard. But you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking with my luck, it's probably gonna hit the splash guard. So let me, you don't have to do this if you have like a funnel or something, but with my luck, the oil is gonna hit the splash guard and then it's gonna get all over the ground. So I'm gonna remove the splash guard too. It's only four bolts, so let me take care of that real quick. Okay, with that out of the way, here is the oil filter. My one concern is I don't have a tool to pull this off, so hopefully I can break it loose with my hand or something, or maybe with a set of pliers. Cool thing is there's the block heater here though. I didn't know that, but that's kind of neat. So, uh, right. I'm gonna need to do this off camera because I need to figure out a way to get this guy unlocked taken off. So this is the new oil filter. One thing I really like to do before I go ahead and install the oil filter, if it's an oil filter that faces down, I mean, or the opening faces up and not sideways, I like to add a little, just a little bit of oil into it. Manual calls for 10 quarts of oil. We're using 10W30. 10W30 is what's called for for all season. You can use uh, 540, but that's kind of like for colder conditions. So we'll just stick to what's recommended. And based off of what I'm seeing, granted this is, truck hasn't been warmed up yet. Where are you? We are right at the halfway mark. So at this point, what we can do is start up the truck, let it run for a little bit, and then we'll recheck the engine oil. And there you go guys, just like that. Everything is buttoned up underneath. 
oil change has been complete. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.